Hello guys, this is Ryan from Helpful Tutorials, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a TechIt server, TechIt Classic server, on a Mac. So, first step is you're going to want to open up your default browser and search technicpack.net. Link will be in the description, and it will take you to the TechIt website. You're going to go to TechIt Classic go over here and download the server I already have it downloaded so I'm fine uh, then you're gonna wanna go to your downloads doesn't matter what the name is of the server so anyway the next step is going to be to make this server that command that you see right here just gonna copy that and paste that um, in order to do this you need to go to your applications text edit um, let me just open this text edit um, and you are going to type this command link will be in the description or the the thing will be in the description the code will be in the description and then you're going to want to go back to text edit and paste the code in there Format, make plain text, make sure you do that or it won't work. And you're going to want to file, save, save it to your desktop, doesn't matter what it's called. Exit out. You're going to get with this untitled. And you're going to want to name that server.command. Okay? And that's how you get the file. And then I'm just going to drag that to the trash. You're going to want to drag that into here. Right? See? I have one right here. Alright, and then what you're going to do with this techit.jar is you're going to rename it craft bucket. Um, an annotation on the screen will be. There's an, there's an annotation on the screen telling you how to spell craft bucket so you don't do it wrong. And then you're going to want to double click your server.command and that will start up your server. And launch all the mods, give you all the mods. And while that is launching, oh, oops, I made an error, guys. Sorry, I'm going to stop this. I skipped a step. This is going to be the first step that you make. You're going to want to go to your mods and delete mod underscore nether orth dot jar. Make sure you delete that or else it won't work you do not have to clear your trash I just did that um, and then you will start up your server make sure you do that first I mean if you do what I did just because you're watching the video that's fine it doesn't matter that much just type in stop stop your server then delete the mod nether or and then start oh, and then start up your server again it will work now that the mod is deleted as you can see it's generating all these files and then when that's done I'm just gonna launch that right here when this is done it's preparing spawn arena area all that crap just let that run this is your console this is how you type in commands like how you op yourself that's how you do it this is where it all happens. This is like your personal admin, except no one can deop this guy because you own the server, and this is how, like, basically you run it. So we're just gonna let this finish up. We can close this down for now. Gonna let that finish. Do 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 do. All right. I don't get why it's preparing the spawn. Oh, yep. It's preparing the spawn for all the worlds. Don't worry if it does it three times. It's doing it to me, three times doesn't really matter. Th this will probably take around three minutes to two minutes, somewhere around there, maybe five minutes. Um. Okay. It's done. So now what I'm gonna do is stop and stop the server. Don't X this out. 
wait till this is not there anymore. Wait till th that is gone. Saving the chunks. Don't know why it's taking so long to save the chunks. Come on, save your chunks. Alright, there, process completed. You have to see that, and then you can exit out. And then we're going to re-go into here. You don't have to do this. I just am doing this because I port forwarded on a different port. I am going to teach you guys what port forwarding and how to port forward, which is how to um, get your friends to play on the server. They won't be able to play unless you port forward. I'm going to teach you how to do that in another video. So watch that video if you want to know how to play with your friends. All right, and then we're going to relaunch this. So that's launching. And when that finishes, I'll prove to you that it works. You see, if you come over here, the server will not be up right now. Communication error. Okay? I'm also going to teach you how to get your IP in, in the port forward video, so don't worry about that. And alright, so it's going to prepare the spawn for all three of the worlds. Alright, come on, done. Now, if we go into here, the server is now up. And I'm joining the game, as you can see. The server will not be up for you, though. So, don't get all upset, leave comments if it's not working for you. I know it's not working for you. You have to port forward in order for your friends to join. Your friends will not be able to join unless you port forward. Okay, Rai Rai 2249, join the game. Sorry, I have an old computer, so it's a little bit laggy. Alright, so I'm in this game, and as you can see, if you pause it, hey, hey pause. Alright, and come over here. You can see right here, Rai Rai 2249, join the game. So, yeah, that's me, join the game. And I'm in the game right now, as you can see. And that is how you do it. But, as I said, your friends will not be able to join this unless you port forward. Which will be in another video, as I said. Link in the description and an annotation on the screen. But it's not out yet. It'll be out soon, so don't worry. Alright, thank you for watching. Remember to comment, rate, subscribe if this helped you out. And yeah, thank you.